so if you clicked on this video, you already read the title. So, welcome to another Bungo Stray Dogs haul. Um, most of this stuff, geez. Okay, well, I had initially filmed a collective anime haul, and then I went to edit it, and I realized that like 95% of the merch was Bungo stuff, so I was, I just thought, you know what, we're gonna need to re-record this and just do a dedicated Bungo Stray Dogs haul, even though, even though I already have two up, uh, two previous ones up, what's another Bungo Stray Dogs haul, right? I mean, whatever. Also, the video ended up being like 53 minutes, so I think I'm just gonna have Bungo Stray Dogs uh, as a separate haul video, and then I can record a separate video for um, other collective anime merch. Jesus. But a lot of this stuff has been with me for a while. I just haven't gotten a chance to film a haul video because I had other figures come in and then I had other Bungo Stray Dogs still shipping to me. Other Bungo Stray Dogs stuff still shipping to me. Um, and here we are. I, kept, I was just like holding back for so long and now I'm stuck <laughs> with showing you guys a plethora of Bungo Stray Dogs merch. I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna start. Uh, please make sure you like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comment section below. Um, and then also comment your b favorite Bungo Stray Dogs characters. Actually, I know that's actually pretty hard to do. Give me your like top five. Um, and it could be in order or in no order at all because I get it. I totally get it. Mine switches all the time. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the uh, plushies that I got and get them out of the way. Ugh, okay, so some of this stuff, like I said, is from like, I don't know, February, give or take a month. Um, so you've probably seen a lot of them uh, behind me or hung up already, <laughs> but I'm going to properly show you what they are now. So first off, we're going to look at the Pita Nui plushies. So if you don't know what a Pita Nui plush is, it's basically a plushie with like, that looks like this, first of all. I have Da's eyes. And they have like little metal sticks or whatever inside their hands that basically can like grab onto things. Their heads move as well. And they're so cute. I have a CL one from Black Butler right over there and he kind of just hangs onto my shelf. And that's basically how I have these guys too. I have Dazai's, I have um, Atsushi's, and I have Chuya's. I'm still looking for Octagawa's, um, but I have these three. They're usually just hung up right here in the middle and I absolutely love looking at them trying to climb up my shelf. It's so cute. I usually have Chuya at the top because he's the gravity man and then we have Dazai following him and then Atsushi and then um, again, I still need to find Octagawa. Next up, I collect Nitotan plushies. If you don't know what Nitotan plushies are, they're these little tiny, little tiny funny looking <laughs> plushies. I don't know. I have Odasaku and Ango. They kind of double as like a keychain too, but they have the cutest faces ever. They're just like these circles and I think they're so fun and cute to look at. And now I have the entire Bungo Stray Dogs collection from this series. And these two are going to be displayed next to my Port Mafia Dazai, of course. These were pretty hard to find, these two specifically. Oh, I'm so glad that I got these two and they came in together, so they came in at the same time, so. The next plushies, I I think are my one of my favorite things that I got in this haul because they are a mix of two things that I absolutely love. Bungo Stray Dogs and Sanrio. Let me show you how cute these plushies are. We have Atsushi. Now, each character in this set of plushie has a assigned Sanrio character. So because Atsushi's a tiger, he gets Hello Kitty, and Hello Kitty's also holding a white tiger. And this is the cutest thing, I think, Atsushi's is the cutest out of this entire series. But oh my god, these are so cute and they're like the perfect size and their like butts are like um, made of, they're stuffed with like bean bag material, like little beads so they can sit properly. And they're the cutest things ever. I am so obsessed. So I have Atsushi, I have Octagawa as bats. I mean, these are just like, so so smart how they assigned 
the characters to each one. There are so many planes going by. I'm so sorry if you hear that in the background. But Octagawa has bats. Uh, and then we have Chuya, who is Tuxedo Sam. And they've got matching hats. Uh, and then we have Dazai. Very, very cute. He is my Melody, and Melody has a bandage wrapped around her, like, ear. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. They also made keychains in this series. There's like a Port Mafia Dazai, and Port Mafia Dazai is Kuromi. Tell me that is not the most clever thing ever. Oh my god. Uh, there is also in this series a Fyodor, and he is Cinema Roll. I literally had just found him, so he is on the way to me. So I cannot wait to get him. Uh, I'll put a picture of what he looks like somewhere, like right here. He is so cute and I think it's so smart that he's cinema roll because of his, um, I think his hat is called a Ushanka that he wears and they kind of look like um, dog ears, like the ends of them. And they, ah, and they match cinema roll's ears. Oh, they're so, he's so adorable. Oh my God. So those are the plushies that I got. Let me get the figures out of the way. Okay, so first up I have this pop-up. Oh, it's a little dusty, all right. <laughs> excuse the dust but i have this pop-up parade chuya i think he looks really really cool i love his pose i love how chuya always has this very powerful stance all the time he's so he's such a powerful character i love him so much uh, i typically also hate like pop-up parade bases but i think i think this one with chuya especially with the color isn't too bad the next figure i got and it's funny because i said i was never going to buy figures like these and then i bought one <laughs> so the next one is this dazai nendroid doll and the reason why i gave it a chance is because on instagram there are people who buy nendroid dolls or make their own custom ones and they like dress them up in like casual clothing and take them out and like their entire page is just photography of of that. And I thought it was so cute that it convinced me to give this a shot and I did and I love him so much. He is so adorable. They also recently re-released him and then he, they also came out with a Chuya one, which I am so excited about. I did pre-order him. Okay, next up I will show you the illustration type merch that I got. I hung a couple of them up already because I had them for a while and I was not gonna wait. So I will cut to those ones somewhere in the video, but let me show you the ones that I haven't hung up yet. So first up, I have this canvas art, and this is my first canvas art of like any anime merch, and I'm loving it. I think it's so pretty, but it's canvas art of Dazai Atsushi and Kyoka. I'm so happy Kyoka's in this. I think she is so underappreciated. Sorry for the glare, but it's like wrapped in plastic and I don't want to take it out because I don't want to ruin this. It is so, so pretty. I absolutely love the pastel colors. I'm a sucker for pastels. Uh, I'm also a sucker for Harukawa Sensei's artwork and she just, she just knows she just knows how to draw them. I, I especially love their outfits. Does I look so freaking man? <laughs> um, and then they also have their signatures there. Next up, I have this Shin Sokoku poster of Atsushi and Akutagawa. Atsushi looks so freaking cool here. I love this like perspective. I love this angle. I, I think. Look at Octagawa, it looks so cool. I also have the Sokoku version of this. It's hung up right next to me. So I will cut to it and show you that. And actually, when I bought this Atsushi and Octagawa one, it came with this sticker of the Sokoku version. So I'm never gonna use that, but I am happy that I have it. <laughs> Uh, it also came with these little figure slash keychain, Dazai and Atsushi. Um, and then I also bought the rest of the set separately because this is from a whole series, I guess, of little figure keychain things, but we will show you that later <laughs> when I get to the keychain stuff. The next piece of artwork that I got 
uh, is actually a framed piece of artwork that is from one of the exhibitions uh, that they did in Japan for this series and it is such it's so cool all right let me let me just show you guys what it is it is this Dazai and Chuya illustration from Harukawa Sensei and it is so unique. I don't think I have anything in this style of illustration in my room and I think it's so cool. I am such a sucker for my favorite characters wearing clothes that they would not typically wear in the series. I think it's so cool. They look so good together. I think those are the only illustration type merch that I got. Uh, let's look at the keychain or charm merch so because we were already on the topic since we already mentioned these guys i will show you the rest of them that i bought separately i have octagawas and chuyas and then we have another version of chuya or sorry we have another version of dazai and atsushi i don't know why they get two versions i don't think the rest got two versions but we got an open eye one so the first two were like winking versions these are just open eye versions i guess and then we have the only rampo figure i can find <laughs> he's so adorable <laughs> and then next i got these two big dazai and chuya all right let me just say a lot of this stuff is dazai and chuya so <laughs> got these two um dazai and chuya 15 arc keychains and I absolutely love this artwork they are coming out with figures of these and there's already a painted prototype out I cannot wait I will say however Dazai looks really good Chuya looks a little off but I don't know if it's the angle the photo was taken in he also seems a little like I mean it looks like they made him shorter than he's actually supposed to be compared to Dazai I got these rubber keychains and I think these are so cute. I have this Odasaku one and he's on a melon and then I have a Buraiha trio with Odasaku, Ango, and Dazai. Dazai, look, Dazai looks so happy here. I originally, they, these originally came as a set. Uh, I only really bought it because I wanted this one and it was kind of just a bonus that Odasaku came along uh, but Ango also came along with it and he kind of just hangs up on my car keys and he's got like a pomegranate behind him i love this style. i love the coloring in this i love the red outlining and the red background i think i don't know it just makes the charms pop so much more next up we have more sanrio themed keep themed merch and they are um acrylic charms and i have a dazai and chibi dazai with my melody again i apologize for the glare i just do not want to open these right now there's that one i have atsushi with hello kitty <laughs> i love atsushi's overalls i have chuya with tuxedo sam and then i have octagawa with bats we are gonna move on to enamel pins. This is from like one of my favorite pages in the Beast manga. If you have not read Bungo Stray Dogs Beast and, you, and you're a fan of Bungo Stray Dogs, I highly, highly, highly recommend you read it if you really wanna cry your eyes out. And if you want that to be the only thing you think of for the next six months. But <laughs> uh, I have this like two piece enamel pin that's supposed to like, you'll see, all right. It's supposed to be like from one page of the series. It goes like that, but it is from one of the pages in Beast. If I can find the actual, like a screenshot of the actual page, I'll put it up here in case the camera does not pick up the words that's written on here, but yeah, love that so much. And with these nail pins, and like any fan arty stuff that I have, I will put the artist in the description. If I don't know the artist, if you know the artist, let me know and then I'll add their name in the description because some of the stuff I did get secondhand and I don't have like a signature. It, the merch doesn't have signatures or embossings on the back of it that tell me who it's made by, so sorry. And then I have this Chuya panel. I love this panel so much of Chuya. I love when Chuya acts like such a smug piece of shit. 
I think he's so cool. I have this Chuya one, and I think he looks so, so good with like foxes surrounding him. He looks so stunning in traditional Japanese clothing too. And then I have this, this is by Sakita Art, Sakita.art, um, but it is this panel of Dazai, which is one of the like, from the more recent chapters. I literally love this determined look Dazai gives Sigma. I think it's such a huge part of his character development. I think he's, uh, one of my favorites. I am so proud of Dazai. Um, and it's got like pearly glitter on the back. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but it's got like a pearl effect. All right, next up I have super flirty <laughs> Dazai with like a glitter blue background. There's like a red version too of this and I think another color or a purple version too. But he's got his flower and he's I don't know, trying to kill himself with you or something. I <laughs> And then I have this like Dazai X Armin crossover <laughs> pin where it's this whole like um this blanket thing was initially from Attack on Titan um Junior High, I believe it's called. It originally had Armin in there. The artist took Dazai's face and put Dazai in there and he looks so cozy and he's so cute. I have this Rampo pin, which I think is so cool, especially the background. It's by Midnight Moon and it's got like this, I don't even know how to, I think it's called Sandblast, the effect in the back, but I, I'm not quite sure. So correct me if I'm wrong, but oh my God, I love it so much. And then I have this enamel pin of Chuya and Dazai. It is from the mobile game of Bungo Stray Dogs. I think it's called like Mayoi or something like that. Uh, and it's just Chuya and Dazai. And then we have this Atsushi pin. This is by Pinjutsu and he's so cute. He has a little white tiger with him and he looks like an absolute doll. Sorry if like the camera's not gonna pick it up right, but He's got a little tiger doll in between. Oh my God, I have a lot of enamel pins. And then I have these. They are Dazai and Chuya in this, this wolf form. I don't, I don't know, I forgot the name, but. Oh, they're so, so, so cute. They're pretty big too. I mean, they're like tails take up the entire thing, but they are so cool. I especially love Chuya's. I think like the whole wolf and fox. Oh, I think they're foxes, not wolves. I don't know. I think the whole fox theme fits Chuya so good. It's, I think it matches his hair, especially. I just, ah, I love Chuya, can you tell? <laughs> and then I have, oh my God. These are probably one of the prettiest set of pins that I have. These look almost like, like they're meant to be like jewelry. They look so expensive and like high quality and high end. They are these Chuya, okay, I'll take it out of the plastic cause the glare is really pissing me off. They are these Chuya and Dazai pins and they're like die cutted in between them and around them. And they've got like their ability names. So that's For the Tainted Sorrow and then that's um, No Longer Human. And Dazai, I believe this is Dazai's birth flower. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure about Chuya's, um, but Chuya's got like wine, and then Dazai's got like medicine. I'm guessing that's like medicine he was mixing in that one episode when he was in the mafia. The use of gold is like insanely stunning. I feel like I'm holding real gold. <laughs> and then I have my second set of favorite enamel pins, which is by. I Suru pins and they are these like stain they they have stained glass in them but I have Chuya and Dazai and they're Chuya and Dazai <laughs> it's just so automatic for me I have Chuya and Aku and they're again in this traditional clothing with sakura all around them I love this like um, umbrella I don't know what the parasol is that what it's called but they are so 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 pretty and then the stained glass part is right over here this orange those are all the enamel pins i believe <laughs> the next set of merch i'm going to show you is actually from a recent event i don't know if it's still going on or not there is a amusement park in japan called fuji q highland and I guess they collabed with Bungo Stray Dogs. There's like restaurants in there where kind of like pop-up restaurants that you go to or you see in Japan dedicated to ser like different series. There's a restaurant there, I think, and it's got food 
based on each character. Uh, there's also like a field where you can go to that has like giant cardboard cutouts of the characters and you can pose with them and they're like doing like little heart shapes so you can complete the other half of the heart. You'll see. <laughs> you'll, you'll, <laughs> when I, you'll know when I show you. But I got a few stuff from there and um, it's a mix of stuff. The first thing I got is something you, I think everybody gets when they go and eat at the restaurant, but it is this lunch mat. They like, they, they're like dressed as amusement park workers. They look so, so cute. So if you look, Dazai is doing like a little half heart with his fingers. Atsushi is doing like a whole huge half heart. Uh, Kyoka is doing like two little half hearts. Aku is just upset and I guess Chia wants to take you with him. <laughs> so there's that, but these are what the cardboard cutouts looked like. And then uh, I got acrylic stands of Dazai and Chuya in the same form. So I have Dazai and then I have Chuya. And then I have, these aren't acrylic stands. I guess they're just like acrylic panels, but I think what they're meant to be is, or what you're meant to do with them is kind of take them with you and take photos with them. They're like, these like acrylic panels and it looks like an Instagram background like the background or this part looks like it's part of the picture um, that you take does that make that makes no sense I'm sorry hopefully you understood that or you can decipher whatever I said but yeah it looks like an Instagram post and then at the top it has Dazai's username which is just Dazai <laughs> Osamu um, and then his like profile picture is his suicide book and then we have Chia and then Chia's profile picture is his hat. And then I got these chibi ones where they're not dressed in like employee uniforms, but they're dressed like they're actually going to the amusement park. And I got Chuya and he's got a little map with him. He's so adorable. He's got a map and then I usually display him next to Dazai's and it looks like they're going together and Dazai has a camera with him. I absolutely love the ears that he wears, it's so cute. Okay, and then the last thing I got that's from this event are like photo cards of just Dazai and Chuya. So I have Dazai's and then these are like the first photo cards that I've ever bought. They were kind of hard to resist and then I have Chuya's. I don't know why I love this event so much, I just do. That's all that I got from that event. Next up, I got a few cafe items from like Bungo Stray Dogs pop-up cafes that they do in Japan because I absolutely adore cafes and coffee shops and bakeries and that whole aesthetic and that whole thing. Um, so first up, I got, I got this Chuya muddler or like stirrer. And let me take this out of here. There you go. Hopefully you can see that better. And he's holding like a pan that he's cooking with and then uh down here if you can't see it says uh nakahara chuya and then at the top it has a wine glass and this is so cool am, am i ever gonna use these cafe stuff probably not am i happy that i have them yes i can like decorate my like coffee area with them you know <laughs> these are like fine china to me i cannot i absolutely cannot use them and then we have uh the last two things which are acrylic coasters of Dazai and Shuya. This is basically the same illustration that was on the uh, stir. So that's Chuya. And this is Dazai. <laughs> Dazai looks so adorable. This color also matches Dazai really well. I'm like at 41 minutes on this video. <sighs> all right, the last set of things that I got are all acrylic stands. So get ready because it's a lot. <laughs> Where do I start? <laughs> uh, uh, all right, I'll start with like the fan made one that I have, but I think it's super cool It's from the same artist that did these Really 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 beautiful enamel pins. I love their art so much, but they are there are these like acrylic panel Stands, I don't know, but they're basically in chronological order of Dazai and Chia. So 15 arc we have the current 22 year old Dazai and Chuya and then the last one is the Beast Universe Dazai and Chuya and I love I just I absolutely adore this whole art alternate universe thing with them 
and how everybody believes. I mean, and it's proven, I guess, with Beast that in every universe they find each other. And then the base is super pretty. It's got like a floral design with like very thin lines, but very, very pretty. Not too distracting from the actual panels, but still there. Still, it's not plain, but it's also not distracting. Next up, I got this, I don't even know, like this tiger themed set of acrylic stands that are so adorable. I love the coloring and the tones and, and just the art style of these ones. I have Aku, um, I have Aku, I was gonna say Orasaku. I have Aku, Atsushi, Chuya, and Dazai. So I have, here's Dazai's. And he's got a little tiger with him uh, that's sleeping. And then I have Atsushi, which if you'll notice, I'll point it out here. Atsushi has a white tiger, everybody else has a orange tiger. I think that's super clever of them. Atsushi's like strand of black hair is super thick here too. I kind of just noticed that. Um, but that's so cute. I love how he has a white tiger. Uh, and then I, we have Aku, whose tiger is hiding behind his like clothing. Very adorable. And then we have Chuya. <laughs> and Chuya's tiger is popping up from his hat. I absolutely love Chuya's ponytail too. But I also really love how they always find a way, or most of the time they find a way uh, to incorporate Chuya's hat into like merch. I will show you another instance right now with um, two other acrylic stands that I got. And they are these like pajama party or sleepy acrylic stands. These are one of my favorites, they're so cute. But they are these pajama ones and each character is holding like this giant doll, which I believe they also have merch of that you can buy like this actual doll. But <laughs> he's got the doll wearing his hat too. So there's Chuya. And then I have Dazai. I think, oh, I just noticed too. There, he's wearing uh, his, his pendant. I forgot what it's called, his bolo tie. But one of my favorite things, aside from how adorable Dazai's eyes look, he's got like doe eyes. He's so cute. My favorite thing besides that about this is how his hair is pinned back. I hope the camera will pick it up, but if it doesn't, I think I have like a full higher quality photo of this. So if I do, I'll put a close up of what it looks like over here. Next up, we have these school AU ones. So we have a summer version, summer or spring version of Chuya and Dazai right here. And I kind of just, I usually just um, display them like that. So it's, it kind of looks like Dazai's admiring Chuya. Yeah, so there are these ones. And then we have another set of school AU ones, but it's a winter version. And I display them like this. And I love how Chuya is brushing his hair back. God, he looks so good. And yeah, uh, that's how they look. And then we got more acrylic stands. Surprise, surprise. These ones are actually pretty unique because they're kind of a mix of like keychains and acrylic stands. Everybody here looks so dapper. I have Atsushi, Chuya, and Dazai's right now, but I also have Octagawa's on the way. But this is what they are. There's this like floral backing, which is an acrylic stand. They have their names, which is an acrylic stand, but the actual figure of the character is a little keychain and it's got like a hook on it. I think Atsushi's outfit and aesthetic looks the best out of all of them. And then we have Chuya's. Flowers match him so well. Mr. Controversial Bandage Man. He looks so cute. Look at him with his top hat. Um, very, very dapper looking. And then like I said, I have Octa oh, I have Octagawa's on the way. They also have a Po and Rampo, which I cannot find anywhere, but they look so freaking good. I think Po especially, if I'm remembering correctly, looks so good. Like the aesthetic just matches him. Anyways, <laughs> uh, those are that. I have more acrylic stands <laughs> and they are these Chia and Dazai 15 arc ones that they're the same art that I have the keychains in. So I have these ones, again, like I said, they're the same as the keychains that I have, but they're just in acrylic stand form. Um, oh, I got the order wrong. They're supposed to connect, like one. If you can see the building over here in the middle connects. And then I have these really fun Dazai and Shia painterly uh, versions painterly series acrylic stands. I love how Chuya's throwing the paint. I These are so cool. They're so fun. Okay, so there are those. And then there are these 
Oh my god, these are like another sleepy version, but they have like dinosaur plushies and they're in chibi form. And I think I saw somewhere on Twitter that they're re-releasing these. So if you want them, get them. Uh, I definitely am. I don't know where I'm gonna get them from though. I don't know if they go up in Ami, if they're going to go up on Ami Ami or like any of the American websites that sell anime merch. But I only have Dazai and Chuya and I want at least Aku and Atsushi of these. And Kyoka too. And they also have Fukuzawa and Mori. <laughs> Um, I kind of want Fukuzawa though, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, well, I don't know about Ma Mori, we'll see. I feel like, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> I hate the guy, but like, it's it's really cute. But like I said, we, I have Dazai's, and I have Chuya's, and they are so, so cute. <laughs> and then the bases are actually like dinosaur eggs and they're the cutest thing ever. And they're such a good size too. They're not like so tiny, um, like a lot of acrylic stands are. That just sold me even more, but oh my God, Trius is my favorite. The way he's like straddling the damn thing. It's so cute and he's got the little hood on. And then I have another, the last like few acrylic stands, the last one, two, three, four, five acrylic stands that I have are actually another set that's kind of unique. They are called Yura, Yura Yura acrylic stands. I think the Yura Yura is just like to show that they move. I think these ones are called Yura Yura too, just to show that they're, oh, just to show that they move. <laughs> they are these sleepy um, acrylic stands. I have Chuya, I have Ranpo, and these recently came out. And then I have Dazai. And throughout this whole set, there's also Aku, there's um, there's Aku, there's Atsushi, there's Kunikida, which I really want. Um, and then I think that's all. I don't think there's anybody else. But throughout this whole set, everybody is asleep except Dazai, and that kind of makes me so sad, just because we know Dazai does not sleep. He's trying though. <laughs> um, but basically what these do, let me see if I can demonstrate. They just rock back and forth. And I think it's so cute. I have them displayed on my desk right now and they're the cutest things. Ever. I also got the, the same concept, but in these really, really cute Sakura themed ones, but I have them in Nikolai and I have them in Sigma. I am so happy that I have something of these two. Um, they also have like a Jono one and a Techo one and a Teruko and a Fukuchi. I do not want Fukuchi, but um, they've got like a bunch of other ones. They've got Chuya, they've got Yosano in this as well. Uh, but I really, really wanted at least Nikolai and, and Sigma. I am looking for Jono though. I really, really want Jono's. Jono's is so pretty. So that was my massive Bungo Stray Dogs haul. Okay, so I lied. I actually have two more acrylic stands to show. This one is actually of the same artwork that I had uh, in the framed version. And it is Dazai and Chuya, but it's like, it has like a pop effect. So these are like two separate panels. The figure, the two figures, and then the backing. And then on the back, it has Bungo Stray Dogs written that like crosses their silhouettes. I think that's so cool. And then this is another one of my favorite illustrations from Harukawa. And it is a like acrylic panel and it's of the 10th anniversary of Bungo Stray Dogs. And I really hope, I will try to find the original photo because I don't think the camera's gonna pick it up really well on here. But not only is the art super pretty and just like, it's gorgeous. Like I do not have a proper word to describe how stunning this looks. The clothes that Harukawa draws these characters in, it always hits. Like it always, it never fails. And Kyoka's in it too. And oh my God, they look so, like look at Octagawa. It is an acrylic panel, so it's a little different from an acrylic stand. So you get like these two little, you get two of these and you kind of just prop them. And they'll, you prop the other one here and they just stand like that. But they're so pretty. Now that is all I have for my Bungo Stray Dogs haul. So please let me know what you think in the comment section below. I will not hold you here any longer. Please make sure you like and subscribe. And um, remember, let me know who your top five favorite Bingo Stray Dogs characters are. And I will see you in the next video, which is hopefully, hopefully soon. Bye-bye, guys.